Hi folks, Nella here with Benji and my friend. And these two are here because they were two of the three dolls that I brought to the doll meet today. Um, which is awesome because I haven't seen any of the local uh, doll hobbyists except for my cousin in, I'm going to say at least three months. Yeah, I'm going to be on the safe side and say three months. Um, so it was really awesome to see people and to see amazing dolls. Um, <coughs> in particular, um, I'm going to have the links, both DeviantArt and Tumblr, um, for two of the people that I saw there. Um, one of whom takes absolutely amazing photos, and the other has amazing robot dolls. I mean, she has more than just robot dolls, but she brought some of her robots uh, to the meet today, and holy crap. Um, she has a Leal Tin Man, uh, so, you know, tons, like, all the option parts, and he's... Let's see, I think I actually... I took a photo of him next to my thumb, but didn't come out too well, but yay big. So, super tiny, and just like the cutest little thing ever. Uh, she also had two Batchicks robots with her, and a, the, uh, Soul Doll Kowalski, which is like this nine, um, cyborg that actually has metal running through his legs um he is just so freaking cool um and i'm quite sure that awesome socks um took i i think took a whole bunch of amazing photos as usual um so who knows maybe you will actually see some photos of these two probably not <laughs> um but who knows you might um and it was also really awesome because Benji actually did get some compliments on his unique sculpt. Um, and also the fact that, yay, he has a body. Um, and of course, Lu Shuang also got caught a number of people's eyes. Just because she is such a gorgeous, cute girl. Um, and... Uh, one of the other owners um, did some amazing, amazing decorating job um, on the room and actually made wreaths for um, for everyone who was there in the first, I don't know, I guess we were the first people there for the first hour and a half, something like that. Um, so she now has a little wreath with flowers and a ribbon and it suits her perfectly. Um, I also did bring Lottie with me, um, but I mostly carried Lottie around with me because she fits in my hands so nicely. Um, and I should say, the reason why this video is being posted so late in the day isn't that the uh, doll meet lasted super long, it lasted three hours, um, but it's because I just came back from a party, um, a going away party for one of my friends, who got her call back from the military. She has a six year contract, and what is it? Six weeks basic training, and then 18 months specialized training, <laughs> um, and then probably going to be in a base in BC or something like that. Um, but anyway, I was able to see a number of my friends that I haven't seen in, um, seven to nine months? Maybe more than that? It might actually be a full year? That sounds really, really bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, today has been my socializing day, and now I get to rest and be on the internet. <laughs> um, though, speaking of exciting things, I have some 
Well, it's exciting to me. It might be exciting to you guys. Um, I have a package and it has made to Vancouver. They've handed over. It has cleared through customs. They handed over to Canada Post. I have no clue how long it takes to get from Vancouver to here because it's, all of my stuff has always gone through Mississauga to here. Um, so it's going to be completely different. And I'm just going to put a little hint with the video clip right here. That's right. My first two figmas that I ordered from Mandarake are in Vancouver. So they are on their way. On their way. I'm going to have them in my hands soonish. I hope. <laughs> okay, um, that's all. Bye, everyone.